Hey my beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, welcome to the family. It's really nice to have you. In today's video, we are going to be doing a wear test on the age 20s intense cover signature essence cover pack now i have reviewed the pink one before which was the moisturizing one this is not the moisturizing one this is one that is meant to be obviously intense coverage it's not meant to be as moisturizing it's not meant to be as oily which i thought was perfect for my skin i've got combination slash oily skin mostly oils especially on my t-zone now in the last video where we did cover the pink one we definitely noticed the oils coming through even bits of my skin that aren't naturally oil like my cheeks looked a bit dewy and oily so we decided and determined that's probably better if you have dry skin now just like the last video i'm not going to be wearing any powder i'm not going to be wearing any primers the only thing i've got on my face is my toners my salic acid toner and my retinol acid toner but that was like an hour ago but apart from that i have nothing i have no moisturizer on i have no primer on i have nothing so we are going to put this on to bare skin give it a wear test and make sure to put no powder on so we are giving just the foundation just the packed a fair chance and just to see what this is like okay so i've already unpacked it look at you beautiful people I've got the the packed in it. It did come with two ref it came with two refills. So this one obviously and then the other one, which is pretty handy. It literally just pops out and in. This seems a lot more white than the last one, but I'm not sure. It still does look just as wet though. There are still what looks like little wet droplets, but we are going to see how it goes. I'm obviously going to put it on first and then I will give you a zoom in to see what it looks like at the beginning of the day as soon as I put it on. It is currently 12.17, so let's go ahead so that we can give it a fair long chance. Now, I've got nothing taxing for today, nothing hard workish. so obviously I'm not putting it full, it's full rain. It has a really good like cooling effect, which I do like. I feel like this would be perfect in summer. It does have SPF in it. SPF 50 plus, so it's actually really high in SPF. So if you accidentally go outside with nothing on, no makeup, no sunscreen or anything, this might actually be perfect for you. You just keep it in your bag and then when you need it, just dab it on. It smells nice as well. I don't think I mentioned that on the last one. But this one I can actually smell quite a bit. And it does smell quite nice. I can't even remember if I... If the other one had a smell. Now, I wore that other one a lot. Now, by a lot, I mean I finished one refill pack. Now, I don't know how long I was wearing it or how often I was, but every time that I was like, I'm running late and I want to at least look a little bit presentable because I am someone who doesn't like my bare face that much. If I can go from it with makeup, great. So anytime I was in a rush, I would just use the other one. But obviously because it was oily, I would have to put so much powder on like so much and even by the end of the day it was still slightly oily but not too bad it just sort of looked dewy and i know that my sister who has dry skin really does like that look she likes the dewy look well i'm someone who's a very matte girl i prefer the matte look obviously it is definitely about preference and what you're into but with the powder it definitely looked a bit more dewy and not so much like Damn, you're a grease bomb, you work in KFC. So, I'm gonna also, I've got a mark on my forehead. We are going to, I'm gonna pack the foundation a lot onto the forehead to see the coverage, because obviously this is meant to be intense coverage, so we want to give it a fair chance. I'm putting it down. I gotta do my nose. Now, I wear glasses, so that's another thing. My glasses always rub off my foundation around my nose so we will have to see what that is like throughout the day 
I will also, because I'll be picking my sister up from her work, we will probably ask her to tell us what she thinks of it. Because obviously, as I said, this is the meant to be the, the more intense cover. It does feel really nice. It still has that stickiness though, which I'm not a massive fan on of. I'm not a massive fan of. Obviously, it does make your skin feel really soft though. Even though this one's not the moisturizing one, it does feel soft. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom you in. It's actually covered it pretty well already. Now, obviously, I am using a full HD camera. I am in natural light. This sometimes, oh, it doesn't wanna focus. Sometimes it doesn't show my bare skin like you can see I've got spots you can see I've got marks on my chin like you can see my skin isn't the best I was gonna show you the, the mark on my forehead but it doesn't want to show so we're gonna do it on my chin I think I I think it might be like that it's buildable oh, it just feels and smells so nice I probably still, like, if you want something with really high coverage, I would probably put on primer with it, because that's not covering everything. It is definitely more, it has definitely got you coverage, but I think it's like a medium coverage, not a high coverage. But you can still see, look, I'm shiny, but it's not like I'm an oily mess like I was last time. So that is good. This is sticky. Like my hair is instantly getting stuck to it, but you would obviously usually use powder to set it down unless you like the stickiness. I do feel like it's made my complexion better. It's obviously smoothed out my face a lot and it's made me a lot more uniform. It's got rid of the redness in some places. My bags are actually a lot, a lot better. So far, just on putting it on, so obviously I don't know what the wear test will be like. My opinion could change. I am liking this, especially for something you can just shove in your bag. You're in a rush, you need it, you grab it, put it on, you're done. You can go. But obviously my opinion might change, so we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so I've literally just put it on, and I'm not sure whether you can notice it's already picking up things off other things, like, there's, like, black fluff from my t-shirt or something. I had this t-shirt on before I put on the foundation, though, so maybe it was already on my face and it wasn't noticeable until the foundation, but right now I feel like it needs, like, it needs powder. But I'm purposely not using powder. I am giving this a fair shot and giving it a final chance. No primer, no powder, just bare face. Okay, so it's, at the moment it's nearly 5 pm, so it's a good five hours since I put this foundation on. My sister is here. We are in Burger King. Amelia, how's the same day show? Okay, honest truth. Yeah. It's come back shiny here. Yeah. It has started to do a little bit of a peel where your glasses have been rubbing. So yeah. I can say about here. Yeah. Nose is a little bit shiny. Mm -hmm. It looks good on your chin and it still looks quite good on your cheeks as well. So it's mostly where my oil is. T zone, is. T -zone is. So just like the other one, probably not good with oily skin, but it's a lot less oily than the other one. Because the other one, the moisturizer one, if you remember by now, it was like the whole face was oily. But also if you put a primer on, powder on, it'll probably be better. We know I haven't done that, so. This will be the official final check-in. Now it is 11 p.m. at night. Now granted, I put this makeup on at 12 o'clock, I think. So it's been nearly 12 hours just a, maybe 11 hours, so let me check. I put it on at 12.24, so, so it's been a good 11 hours. Now, I have not done anything taxing or difficult in this foundation. I simply went out, sorted out my train tickets, picked my sister up from her way, picked my sister up from her work, grabbed some dinner, 
and then came home. I've literally been gaming since then, um, and that's it. So I've not been really doing anything that will require me to work out in this. Obviously this camera does smooth things out. Now the nose is really oily and you can even see in camera that it's becoming like patchy looking. Uh, it's still shiny on my forehead, but n definitely not as bad as the last one. I'll also show you from my camera because obviously I've been giving you updates with the iPhone. So I will give a final update with the iPhone. So here it is. Okay, so this is obviously artificial lighting, but like, you can see it's really attracted itself to my nose piercing specifically. My forehead, my cheeks, my chin. I mean, overall, I'm pretty proud of it. I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, I think this is a little bit of a better lighting. Obviously, it's still artificial, but it's not as orange or yellow. It is 1124, so obviously I have been wearing this for around about 11 hours, give or take, so I think it's just the nose and the T-zone, but the cheeks and the chin still looks pretty good, so I'm pretty happy with it. I feel like I would wear this foundation again, but just like I said with the other one, use a primer, use powder, stuff like that, so it does set it in a bit better. So the last foundation we reviewed was obviously catered towards very dry skin. It was a lot more oily, it was a lot more moisturising. This one I feel like is catered towards more of an oily skin because it's meant to be essential, it's meant to be coverable, it's meant to be like buildable and it, it's not oily. Obviously my T-zone is still oily. I've always got an oily T-zone, we know that, we've seen that. I always have to wear a primer, I always have to wear a powder. So I would definitely wear this one again. I would actually go for this one more than the other one, just because I feel like it held up a little bit better. It's still on. Obviously the nose needs a little bit of work, but once again, powder, primer, you're sorted. But for something that's like super quick, you just dab, dab, dab and get out, it is perfect. If you're on the train, perfect. If you're in the car, perfect. If you're running late, perfect. So overall, if you have oily skin, go for this one. Go for the black pack. If you are a, if you have dry skin, go for the previous video, the, the moisturize pack, I think, the pink pack. Go for that one. So that way you've got options and you know what works a little bit better with your skin. If you've got combination skin, I would still maybe stick with this one. I wouldn't really risk going for the oily one if you're if your combination because it does just set off pretty quick on the oils um if you are gonna wear, the, wear this one with combination skin use a moisturizer use a primer use all that obviously all i used today was a toner so that probably didn't help either but anyway thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy today's video please don't forget to smash that sub button hit that like button and touch that little bell notification button so you get notified every time i post because obviously it does help me and this channel a lot so thank you to everyone who's done that or is currently doing that it means the world to me i post every single saturday at 8 30 p.m uk time on the dot so i'll see you next time 